So welcome to this afternoon's game. And as the players make their way out onto the pitch, let me bring in Trevor Brooking to say a few words. Trevor. Thanks, Peter. Two mighty teams and a crowd hungry for goals, I think, today. The players and supporters from both sides have plenty of passion here and neither will want to lose this exhibition match. The game kicks off, a great match expected here. Both teams will be aiming to keep it tight in the early stages. Possession gained there. They could open the score with a good cross here. Here comes the cross. Managed a cross, but no one there on the end of it. The ball still with them here. Well won there. The left back really needs to stay sharper. He could swing it in here. Held by the keeper. Ball one here, he takes the ball along the left wing. Tremendous through ball. The shot! Oh, it's in! What a goal! That's their first of the match. 30 minutes played. Struck it with his right foot. Well, the fans who've turned out in numbers have been rewarded. There really isn't much a goalkeeper can do when the ball is hit that well. They have to be careful. They might have taken the lead, but this is always a dangerous time. They have to keep their wits about them. He's off on the long run. Ball one, good defending there. Only one goal in it here, with five minutes to go to half-time. Worked really hard to get the ball back then. It's a long shot, safely into the keeper's gloves. Picked off, chance here. And he's going for it. Tied it up by the keeper. The referee blows his whistle and it's the end of the first half here. Let's see if the manager's advice can affect the players in any way. Hopefully in the right way. So how would you describe the game so far, Trevor? Well, it's not been a classic, but I've seen a lot worse. 1-0 the scoreline then. How long will it stay like that in the second half, I wonder? <laughs> 
Second half underway, but will it be better than the first? They've switched sides for the second half. The free kick has been given here in a very dangerous position. There it is. That's a keeper's ball there. Sturdy defence here. Runs with the ball towards the right flank. Will he find the target now? They won't say no to another goal, and a good delivery here could set it up nicely. Here's real danger. Hits one. Over. Needs to be more accurate than that. Well, maybe he was unlucky on that one. Did well to find the space for the shot, though. That was careless. Still with the ball, good attacking position too. Well, that was good play there. Confident defensive work. Nicely won there. The attack came to nothing. Down the right-hand channel. Poor cross, really. Nobody could get on the end of it. Looking for space down the left-hand side. Still going, real chance here. We've reached the last 15 minutes. Sneaks into the box. And he tries one. Just millimetres to the right, that shot. Well, the fans were expecting him to get that in. I think the manager was too. It looks like a substitution is going to be made. Slides it past the defence. The shot! It's an amazing goal! It's hard to see them throwing this away now. He's got another. So, with the lead extended, let's see if some complacency might just creep into the side. The defenders just couldn't get close enough to him, could they? Well, the movement and the anticipation was so good, and that's always difficult to defend against. <laughs> the goal at the worst time imaginable, Trevor. Well, you're right, Peter, they've got to go for broke now. He's still on the run. Fires it in from quite a distance. Well, he tried the shot but failed to deliver on target. Perhaps that was a bit unlucky because I think the keeper may have taken his eye off the ball. Two more minutes is being shown on the board. Well found by his teammate. And he shoots from there. Another shot blocked by the keeper. They must be wondering what they have to do to beat this goalkeeper today. The referee's whistle ends the game. A great game comes to an end, and despite their defeat, they showed some real spirit here, real determination, but just didn't have enough to get the result they wanted. Well, in the end, very few surprises there, Trevor. No, Peter, let's hope they can sort themselves out and put on a better show next time round. So that's it for today's game. Thank you, Trevor. Thanks, Peter. And there's just time for me to say goodbye from us both. <laughs>